Hey, good morning. Today is Thursday, November 26th. It's Thanksgiving. And today, as all days, we can be thankful for crossword puzzles, which help us get through the slog of life. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I figured that today was as good a day as any to drop a little live solve here. I'm getting ready to cook uh, cook Thanksgiving dinner and um, figured I'd do this first. So here we go. Thursday, November 26th by Neville Fogarty. A name I don't recognize. Sounds British. Let's go. Info for an air traveler. Uh, gate, maybe? A uh, voice role for Beyonce. Is that Coco? I feel like that movie's older than 2019, right? Uh, I'm not sure about that. A gym leader. A gym leader. <clears throat> Operating system from Bell Labs. Hmm. One tiny bit. So this could be Adam or it could be Iota. Uh, those are common. This looks like it's going to be an ATV though, right? Often muddy transport for short. So ATV, which would give us Adam here. And a basic skateboarding trick is an ollie. Play like a puppy is, I mean, puppies play every way that could be that, that is possible in the world so I'm not sure <clears throat> an oboe or flute sound an oboe or flute sound I mean it's a it's a wind or winds uh, experiencing agita angry upset uh, precursor of rock steady is this ska I think yeah, I'm pretty sure Rocksteady is a type of uh, a genre of music that originated from ska, which originated from reggae and so on and so on. Put in is add. Aloof group. Who are the aloof group? Not sure about that. More than calls. Raises. That's a poker clue. Home to around 8 million Americans. Hmm. Like Houston, Texas, maybe? Is that Houston, Texas? Is that is that gonna work? Caution, no. Um and I might be way off with that ballpark of Houston's population. I'm not really sure. Big tongued comics character. Uh is that Odie, I think? Garf Garfield's foil. Something you have up your sleeve would be a card. It'd be like this could be more literal. I mean, and it's not arm, obviously, but um, something up your seat. Uh, 1992 biopic starring Jack Nicholson. Is it Jimmy Hoffa? Hoffa? Uh, abbreviation. What? I don't really understand this. What? Hyphen. So, oh, it's just. It's just hyphen. That's a really weird, I don't like that clue or answer. If that's even the correct answer, I'm not sure. Celebrated Thanksgiving, say. Deli supplies, rye bread. Said at the end of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'm not really sure the order of the, I guess that's the order of the floats or the, or the balloons. Uh... Cry of lament, alas, a uh, needle maker, a needle maker. Circumlocutory, circumlocutory. Um, boy, I have no idea what that means. I mean, circum means around and locutory has something to do with language, speaking, um, like circular logic, I don't know. Uh, early TV network that, comp that competed with NBC and CBS. Uh, I'm, I'm really not sure. I thought that it was always the trifecta of NBC, CBS, and ABC, but I guess not. Features of housewarming parties are gifts, I guess, right? A funder of New York's Strawberry Fields Memorial. Yoko Ono, perhaps? Uh, publisher of the World Factbook in brief. 
I wonder if it's like the OED Oxford English Dictionary um, seems like something that might go in tandem with that, but I, I don't, just not sure. Pushes out of bed, rousts some winter wear, like ski parkas or something. Uh, just be patient. Hold on one sec. Place of refuge is a haven. Take a seat, maybe. Take a, it could be so many things. Former Expos and Giants manager, Felipe Alou. Refine in a way, like smelt, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Aphorisms, I'm not sure what that is. Word interpreted literally in completing four of this puzzle's answers. Okay, so there's so there's a theme. There's a revealer, um, and I don't know it. Oops. Whoops. Whiz. It's like an ace mystery writer for short. Hmm. It's commonly used to make a product. I want this to be prototype, I think, right? So I guess eight might be wrong and Odie might be wrong. I think this is going to be prototype though, right? I mean, commonly used to make a product. It feels pretty good. And I like that. I mean, I like, I think that's a pretty good clue and answer if that's accurate. Info for an air traveler. Hmm. Tract. So tract is like a piece of land. But I don't know. Along with gold, one of the team colors of the midshipmen. Um, I think this is navy blue. Steve, so that'd be an ulna. It was more literal. I, I said it's not arm, but um, it sort of was. Uh, navy blue. That works. Voice roll for Beyonce. Hmm. Uh, places to go. Oh, and we've got something. So this is interesting. Um, I feel pretty good about both those answers, but now I've got a double V here. And we know that we've got a tricky wordplay <clears throat> Thursday theme going on. Uh, places to go in England are lose. And so Nala, I guess Beyonce was in The Lion King, which I, I haven't seen yet. Uh, wildly is a muck. So oboe or flute sound. And what was, I'm just going to double check what the theme is. Word interpreted literally in completing four of this puzzle's answers. So this, this could be a little tricky, but we'll see, see, what, see what we come up with. A female on a farm. Is it a sow, a female pig, a stadium cheer, Olay, hound dog, hound dog hounders. Fleas. And Spanish accent is a tilde. Gym leader is a soft G, I guess. Fixes in a way. Gelds. Uh, it's like, so when you geld a horse, is like a. Um, I think it's like a vasectomy for a horse, right? I don't, I think. Um, but this is really weird. Oh, so it's double V, double O, double W, double E, double L, vowel. Is that going to be right? I mean, this is worn. Caution, worn. Um, so word, hmm. Word interpreted literally. I, I mean, this looks like there's a theme here. Um, we've got a, a standard word vowel spelled out with double letters. Uh, I feel pretty good about all those crosses, but I don't understand how that would work <clears throat> with that number 71 across info about word interpreted literally. Uh, lead into la. So I think that's going to be tra la. A deli slice. Hmm. 
So it would, sort of looks like Hala, but um, aloof group. Interesting. Cause of some impulsive behavior in brief. Uh, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. What can I do? So now, now I've got a double D ending this, which makes me think that maybe these will all be doubles, um, which would mean this was wrong. But something to keep in mind, they move in a charged atmosphere. So I would, I th this would feel like ions maybe, but <clears throat> oh, maybe this is negative, not hyphen. Maybe it's negative, N-E-G, and prototype would be wrong. I think, I think I'm going to go with that and try that out. Um, neg, they move in charge. Mm -hmm. And after it's oh, it's a thought idea. So this does look like we've got some doubles going on, which means tra is going to be wrong. Tra has got to be it's got to end in L, right? Soul. Um, Ireland? No. Oh, Americans. Uh, um, interesting. And actor Williams of Happy Days. Williams. Hmm. I mean, I know some of the Happy Days actors, like obviously Henry Winkler was the Fonz and um, Ron Howard. Um, but I don't think I know any other actors on there. Swimming. Goes it alone. Free. Be free solos, free, free. Who is it alone? Hmm. Like some farewells. I would have thought that was like fond farewell. Eighty sixth. So this is wrong. Oh, deadly supply isn't going to be rye. It's going to be locks. Okay. Flies solo. That was pretty close. Like some feral fond. 86 is axed. Babe in the woods. Uh, it's like a babe in the woods. Gets behind. Gets behind. A pair. So at the end, so this is, I'm going to say this is probably Santa, um, which would make sense to be at the end of the Thanksgiving Day Parade, because Thanksgiving is, of course, a lead into Christmas, and a pair would be two. <clears throat> Examination. What is this? A needle maker. Oh, it's a pine tree. Examination. Hmm. Not sure what that is yet. A uh, medical symptom, maybe pair. That's so gifts is going to be wrong because this will be a duo, I guess. And I, I mean, it looks like this is going to be an E, right? I mean, it looks like we are going to do double letters uh, throughout these. So I guess I can just sort of pencil those in. Examination is a perusal. That's an awkward word. Um, circumlocutory, like worded, maybe W W O O R R D D. See if that works. What is this? Oh, Babe in the Woods would be a fawn, so that does work there. Gets behind. Gets behind. A medical symptom. Places to learn to fight. Hmm. Places to learn to fight. I'm really not sure about that. Free of blocks. Free of blocks. Like unclog, un, un, stop. Hmm. Classic Abercrombie and Fitch logo. Yikes. 
Is Abercrombie and Fitch still around? Is that still a thing? I don't know. Uh, cartoon supplies is probably inks or pens, maybe. Um, I'm going to guess it's ending in an S there. Uh, something of Arendelle. Now, this seems like it's probably a frozen thing. So like Elsa or Anna, uh, but I don't know. Betty Boop is a tune. Looks fitting is snug. Let's just make sure that works. Just be patient soon. Oops. And word interpreted literally in completing. So long is the word interpreted literally. Just because we're drawing out this word. But then what does vowel have to do with? Is, is the sound an oboe or flute makes a vowel? Thanks. A long vowel? Like a, a long oboe flute? Maybe it's a long vowel. And long worded circumlocutor. Okay, so that works. Long islands. Okay. Not as dumb as we thought. Uh, and then this one, long Johns, J O H N S, Johns. Could that be? Yeah, and dojos. Okay, so Haven is wrong, but. Oops. Funny how hard it is to spell when you're just adding an extra letter in there. Um, okay, hey, we got the. We've got the theme. It's a long theme. I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised this has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. I mean, it seems like would have. I'm surprised they don't have a stack of puzzles for every holiday where they just kind of peel them off and say, "Here you go." Operating systems from Bell Labs. I really have no idea what that is. Play like a puppy, like romp or. Hey, oof, experiencing agita, like ang angsty. No, uh, I'm gonna have some trouble up in this area. I'm pretty sure. I, I really that northwest just doesn't look like anything for me yet. Uh, aloof group is a yikes. Now, so this is Odie, so I had that right the first time. Celebrated Thanksgiving, say, is... Oh, I've got something wrong here, too. This, alas, must be wrong. Um, a deli slice. Celebrated Thanksgiving, say, feasted. And a cry of lament. Hmm. Swimming. Early TV network that competed with NBC and CBS. <clears throat> like DuPont, maybe? This is Dojo, so if we go blocks on jam. I'm going to say hmm, medical symptom, maybe. This is wrong. This is going to be long-winded. And itch. I'm going to say this is DuPont. I don't really know what the Abercrombie and Fitch thing is yet, but um, that's going to, that looks better. And then this is Salami. And this must be Anson. But it could be an O <clears throat> or an E. Cry of Lament. Hmm. Oh, uh, swimming. Swimming. Get behind. This is endorses. So, cry of lament, a moan, I guess. Um, I don't know. That's kind of weird and awkward, but uh, and that's some tough. I mean. Crossing, uh, uh, not as not a very well known name, and then this is like housewarming parties. Housewarming parties, like, oh, like 
what word could this be? Uh, pours, sours, swimming. Features of housewarming parties. Yikes. Uh, publisher of the World Factbook in brief. I have no idea what that is. Place of refuge is an oasis. Take a... This is inks. Take a knee. Hmm. Like maybe this is goose and dugant. <laughs> I mean, what could that doesn't seem like it could smelt? Okay, so that works. Word with a baby, baby oil, snake oil, and Harry S. Truman aphorisms. So this must be Anna. CIA is the publisher of the World Factbook. Aphorisms saws. Darn, darn, darn is so. Okay. So whiz is a... A whiz. Hmm. A mystery writer for sure. Like I want this to be like something to do with Agatha Christie, but I just can't figure out what it would be. It's commonly used to make a product. It's commonly used to make a product. I mean, sign looks good, you know, I tracked expanse, maybe aloof group would be snobs, experiencing agita, like uneasy, that, mm, uneasy, used to make a product. Operating system. Oh, so like Unix, maybe? Oh, and a whiz would be guru. Okay, so uneasy, I guess, could work. Uneasy and Unix. Mystery writer for short. Oh, anonymous. They like a puppy romp. I need to make a product. Oh, product, like a multiplication product. Times sign. Boy, features of housewarming parties, like... Fours, hours, pours, sours, <clears throat> hmm. yours. I'm just trying to think of what word, you know, what letter could. Features of housewarming parties. Hmm. And then this, I mean, classic Amber for Crummy and Fitch logo. It must be a goose, right? Like, what else could it be? Oops. Goose. I mean, there's no other thing that would make that a word, right? Goose, like roost, loose, moose, Dumont, moose. Um, and I have no idea what this is, but since it's just one letter, I think I'm going to do the. Uh, oops. Um, I have no idea what this letter is going to be. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, Tours. Whoa. <laughs> um, I don't like the way that looks. That's really upsetting. What was this, though? This is features of housewarming party. Oh, tours to tour the house. Okay, that's kind of dumb. Um, I mean, it's a good Thursday puzzle um, just because it's keeping you on your toes, making you think about stuff a little bit unusual. Um, I, I don't love long as a revealer. Uh, basically just each of these answers was drawn out. Uh, long vowel, long island, long winded and long johns. Um, it's okay. It's fine. It's not, it's not, it's not revolutionary, but it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It's just okay. Um, Dumont, not a big fan of that. Um, especially crossing like unjam and the Abercrombie and Fitch logo. Like, I, I'm, you know, moose are awesome. And it's really a shame that, um, 
this constructor thinks that's their claim to fame as being in the Abercrombie and Fitch logo. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, we have a little bit of Thanksgiving info here. We've got feasted right in the middle, which is kind of nice. Um, and, uh, we're going to take a long nap after a nice big Thanksgiving meal. So anyways, thanks for joining me. A little bit of a long solve today on Thursday, November 26th. Thanks to Neville Fogarty for this great puzzle. And uh, hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving and see you next time for another live solve. And check me out at crossboss.blog for more great puzzle content. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>